This video is sponsored by CodingSkill.net. Please visit our sponsor. Let's work through bubble sort algorithm. We want to sort the array 42713 in ascending order. The input is 42713. Output is the elements in ascending order. We are given this list of elements which is unsorted. We can use two pointers. So we will point these two pointers to the first two elements in the list and we will compare these elements. These two are out of order. Four is greater than two. So we need to swap them. Move four to the right and move two to the left. So we now have two, four, seven, one, three. Now we move pointers to the right by one. We now compare these two elements and those two elements are already in order. So we don't need to swap them. So we just move pointers to the right by one. So we now point to the third and fourth elements. We now compare seven and one. Seven is greater than one. We need to swap them. So this array now has swapped one and seven. We move the pointers by one to the right. They are out of order, so we swap them. So we get two, four, one, three, seven. So at the end of the first scan through the array, the largest element in the array has reached the right slot in the array, seven in this case. So scan one has ended since the pointer is now pointing to the last two elements. Initially seven was here in the middle. Now it's in the end of the list. So let's begin the scan number two. At the end of first scan, we had these elements. So the first thing we will do in the beginning of the scan number two is we will reset the pointers to the beginning. We will compare there in the right order. We don't have to do anything. So we move the pointers to the right by one. We compare four and one, they're out of order. So we need to swap them. So we get this two, one, four, three, seven. We then move the pointers to the right. Four and three are out of order. We need to swap them. So we get two, one, three, four, seven. And four is now the second largest element after seven. So it's now in the right slot. So at the end of scan number two, we had two, one, three, four, seven. We will reset the pointers in the beginning of the scan to the first two elements. And we will swap them since they are out of order. We have one, two, three, four, seven. We move the pointers to the right by one. We compare two and three. They are already in the right order. We don't need to swap them. So now the three, the third largest element takes the third slot from the end of the list. Now three is in the right slot. So at each scan, you can see one of the numbers goes to the right slot so it bubbles up to the right location so that's why it's called bubble sort so at scan number four we have one two three four seven this is what we ended up with in the previous scan so we will reset the pointers to the beginning of the list the first two elements one and two are now compared since they are in the right order we don't have to swap them so this is the first time we did not do any swaps, which means we are done sorting the array and the array is now sorted. So let's look at the code and see how we can use recursion to implement bubble sort. So the sort method takes a three parameters, array to be sorted and swaps is uh, Variable that will keep track whether we did any swap or not because we will use the swap as a way to determine if the array has been sorted or not. 
that's when we will end scanning through the array and the size is the size of the array initially and since each scan bubbles up one number towards the right side of the array we have one less element to process at the end of each scan and if we don't swap in any of those scans we can immediately terminate and the rest of the elements are already in order so the first thing we do is we check if the number of swaps is equal to zero if it is the array is sorted we return it that is the base case otherwise we initialize the swaps to zero to begin with and this is the scanning of the array so i begins from zero so we start from the first element all the way to the one element before the end of the list because the two pointers the first pointer the follower pointer cannot point to the last location of the array we are using size minus two so the follower pointer will not point to n minus one element it will point to the n minus two element which is the one element before the last element so we check if the first element is greater than the second element in the list if it is they are out of order and we just swap them like this this is just to show the output and at the end of each scan what's happening to the array so you can visually see the functioning of the bubble sort swaps is initialized to one so we don't hit the base case and terminate the program at the end of the scan through the array we make a recursive call and we pass in the swaps whether it's zero or one as well as the size is reduced by one which means we use that in the loop so that we don't uh, process the elements which is already bubbled to the end of the list so that will keep increasing so the number of elements that needs to be scanned in each scan will keep reducing by one unit and that's the end of the procedure now we can uh, run this program and see the output for 42713 the number of swaps is initially one so that we don't return the out of order array it's unsorted initially and the size of this array is five so if we run this you can see we made six passes through the array 24713 is the first swap happened here and then here we have one and seven got swapped and then three and seven got swapped so seven is in the right spot here and then here one and four got swapped and here three and four got swapped so four is in now in the right spot and here one and two got swapped so that we get a sorted resulting array thank you for watching an exciting bubble sort demonstration sign up for your free coding interview coaching call fuck sign up for your free coaching call by going to codinginterview.coach